So we're going to try to get in depth with the chatterbait today. Um, I got a special guest, Junior. He's uh, hot to trot to get out on this lake that he lives on. And I'm hopefully going to show him how to catch some bass. I'm going to hook him up with the green pumpkin straight out of the package, put a trailer on it, and go to town. These baits are phenomenal. If you have not tried them, they're great. Um, I tie everything with the same old polymer knot. Some of you probably like it, some of you probably don't, but that's all I use. Yeah, that's the only one I can remember. <laughs> yeah, it's an easy knot, and trust me, it works well. On braid, fluorocarbon, mono, it doesn't matter. Remember to pull them little red tabs off or you ain't hooking nothing, Andy Bus. All right, let's go see what we can catch. Okay, that big hook, then you gotta set it pretty, you have to give it a good set? Actually, it's not that hard of a hook set you need. Oh, okay. They'll pull, you pull, you should be good. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Um, the one thing I do to these is like my jigs, I trimmed a skirt oh, just so below the hook. So they don't get, they bite a little shorter. Well, it's not that they bite a little shorter, it's that I put the trailer on and I don't want to affect the trailer action. Oh, okay. So there's plenty of skirt here. Don't be afraid to cut it. Like I said, I usually cut it right out of the pack just above the hook. Both sides, both sides of the boat. You can't cast on the wrong side right now. Oh, okay. Um, we'll work a little closer to the pads here and there, but I would cast that thing and I'd wind. I don't think you could wind it too fast today. Oh, okay. We got Junior throwing a green pumpkin. I'm throwing a white. We'll see what happens. Yeah, this is a perfect day for these baits. I notice there's a kind of a, a sweet spot where you really feel a vibration. Do you, you want to keep it that slow or do you want to speed up? You want as much vibration out of that thing as possible, but you will never outreel them. Oh. Does that make sense? Okay. You could wind that thing as fast as you want. You'll never, you'll never outreel them. If they want it, they're gonna eat it. And ripping it out of the weed sometimes really gets them going. I'm gonna kind of get us in right around this corner. Okay. We got a lot of lily pads here. The wind's kind of blowing against this bank, so we want to cover this whole area got to be something in here somewhere. We're only three foot deep, two foot deep, a lot of weeds. It's perfect. See, so you tie your baits directly onto the, onto the line. You don't use a swivel or... No, sir. I tie them straight on. Um, actually, this one, I do have a snap swivel just because I wasn't sure how many colors I'd go through. Oh, okay. Like I said, you're throwing green pumpkin, I'm throwing white. We'll see which one starts getting them. We'll adjust from there. Yeah, they've always said you can't wind faster than a Baskin attack, so. Well, I was more to, the, to get the motion that you want. Yep. From the bait. The vest best vibration you can feel out of that bait that's how fast you want to run it but ripping it out of them weeds really makes a reaction bite for them I just had one hit missed it 
Er. Get him. Let him eat that green one. Oh, there's one. Oh. Right at the boat. That or he followed it in. Oh, that's a good fish too. Oh, that's oh nice yeah. One. That's what we're talking about. That's on the white one. We'll see what happens. Look at them pretty black lips. All right, number one. As you guys can see, I don't do anything to the bait. I don't twitch it, I don't, I cast and wind. That chatterbait out of the pack does enough action. You don't need to do anything with it. You could put multiple trailers on it and every trailer will make that bait react different. So just remember that. Try different try different trailers. It does make a difference. You can match the color or don't match the color. You never know what they're gonna eat till you get out there and throw it. So it's September 29th. The water temp's still 67 degrees. It's cooling down all the time. It's that time of year. Yeah. We could be throwing rattle traps, a rigs, all that. I love me a good chatterbait bite, though. I figured I knew a guy that would go with me. <laughs> I wanted to see how the professionals knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Far from professional, but I enjoy it. I notice I get a considerable amount of vibration at a, at a medium retrieve. Yeah. You can change up the retrieve. You can go fast, slow, fast, slow, stop it. You can do all kinds of things with these baits. You know, it, 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 a lot of it's just a reaction bait. So when you figure out what they want, oh, okay. that's what you want to stick with. Mike and Muskie love these too, by the way. <laughs> There's one for the boy. It looks like a dogfish, though. The way he come out of the water. caught a big in the other day. We're here. Oh yeah, he's mean too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, tear my bait up. There you go. There you go, Ray. You're not the only one that catches them. <laughs> that is one ugly critter. What kind of gear race would you run on your reel? For these, probably a high one. Seven to one, you ain't got to crank so hard, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see my line bouncing. That's some good stuff. One thing I haven't seen is any of the schooling shad. No, we haven't seen any schooling shad or nothing yet. You know, sometimes you see them shad schooling and you see the bass just jumping through. Yeah, coming out of the water. I just seen a couple boils here. Not sure if it was a turtle or what. Oh, 
Nope, that wasn't no turtle. <laughs> he about took the rod out of my hand. I seen him swirl there. That's <laughs> fish too. Yeah, they're out here. Got you one? Got somebody. Got somebody? <laughs> Junior hooked up. Whoa, what you got there? Big old pike or dogfish? Probably a dogfish because he has a. Oh, that's a big old pike. Oh, that's a big old pike. <laughs> that's a big old pike. Oh, that's a nice pike. Look at that critter. That's a good one. Oh, Do you want to eat them? Uh, I better let the guy. Nope. No. If he, if he bites a get, I will, though. Look at that fine critter. Oh, that is a nice That's a good one. That's, a, that's the nicest one I've, <laughs> I've caught out of here. Yeah, that's a good one, Junior. 18. Oh, that's uh Wow. Yeah, that's a real good one right there. All right, we're going to let him go. Nice job, buddy. Nice. So, I'm sitting here with Junior Simplowski. Um pretty much a relative of mine. Lives on a lake. Phenomenal lake. Um first time we've been out together. I use his dock very often though because he's the first one off the ramp. Uh, Junior, how'd you like our first trip? Hey, it was terrific. The weather was a little bit chilly, but not bad. It's uh, that time of year, it's September, into yeah, September yeah, actually, yeah, 29th. Be, yeah, I was gonna say it'd be October here. Yeah, October here pretty close. Um, I'm gonna get you out again, buddy. Yeah. Without a doubt. You caught a big one today, yeah, big pike. Yeah, I caught a, the biggest pike I've caught in Indiana. Really? It is. I've caught a bigger one in Wisconsin, but not in Indiana. Well, that's it's awesome. A, it's a nice fish, a nice looking fish. Yes, too. it's gorgeous fish. So, we both know a guy, and he's been kind of dying to get out here. Yeah, well, Gino, he's, he's kind of a fair weather fisherman, I guess. Gino's a fair weather fisherman. Okay. Well, well Gino, sorry about your luck, pal. <laughs> Maybe next time, or next year. Yeah, you should have seen the fish. You, you haven't seen a bigger one since you were at uh, Holcomb in Wisconsin. Oh, nice. Yeah, I never seen that one, Gino. But I'll tell you what, we're gonna do this again, and you're gonna you're gonna get a lot more bigger fish out of here. Yeah, well, I'm uh, I'm up to learn something, and uh, you, just, you were teaching me uh, some some professional tips from well, the pros. Well, I'll tell you what, you was a trooper out there, without a doubt. <laughs> Um, we threw chatterbaits, of course. I'm a sore arm now, but yeah, uh, yeah. Or later. Not now. It's not sore now, but it will be. I, honestly, I thought we were going to kill him today. It, it was just perfect. Windy, cloudy. It was a perfect day for a chatterbait. We did okay, as you can see, but uh, we'll get him. Yeah. Well, we lost. We missed a few hits too. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I lost a couple right at right at the boat. They sure. Hit. New lure for you. This yeah. that. Yeah, Trust me, we'll get you dialed in. <laughs> I plan on doing this a lot more. Okay. All right. Very good. Guys, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys out there.